Hello, Jacob here, with a long overdue uh, pickup video. <laughs> and it's been a couple weeks, but uh, I do have a few more pickups to share with you. I have three jerseys and a hat, and also I have one more uh, jersey on the way that I'm kind of excited for. But you'll see that when the time comes again. Like I said, I apologize. I've been really busy. My uh, birthday went off without a hitch, you know. <laughs> Didn't really do much, but, you know. <laughs> it was kind of nice that I can actually remember my 21st birthday, <laughs> like most people. But that's a different video. <laughs> you know. I bet there's a lot of people here on YouTube that are like, Yeah, I don't remember what I did on my 21st birthday. All I know is I ended up buying some beer and woke up in someone's lawn or something, you know. <laughs> Oh, you know, the good old college stories. But anyway, <laughs> on to the pickups. As I said before, I have three jerseys and one hat. So, without further ado, let's get into this. The first thing I will show is the hat I picked up. And boom! It is a Minnesota Vikings sort of uh, 50th anniversary of the uh, Super Bowl era hat. If you don't know, this is the uh, 50th Super Bowl that will be played this year. And for that, they kind of brought out their own, like, line of, you know, gear or in, like, sweatshirts, hats, shirt, you know, shirts. <laughs> and uh, basically what they did is they took each team's logo, like, they have the liquid chrome right here. Like they did for the uh, 2015 draft hat. And the... Uh, sort of like sublimation, like the, uh, the brim. It has sort of like that like rough, bumpy feel to it. And then on the back has the NFL shield in gold. So, yeah, that is uh, pickup number one. And now on to the jerseys. The first jersey I will show you is my first ever Nike Elite jersey. And this one has a story behind it. <laughs> so, about a month ago, or at least three weeks ago, two, three, about, about three weeks ago now, <laughs> I ordered this off of NFLshop.com on a discount. And, uh, well, it got lost in shipping, let's just say. And to this day, I still don't know if it ever left that sorting facility or whatever. But anyway, so then on a... The uh, 30th of October, <laughs> I contacted the NFL shop, and they sent out a new one. Well, needless to say, they sent it for overnight shipping, <laughs> and it just came today. I mean, like I said, I'm just thankful it finally came, but FedEx, you really need to get your stuff together. But anyway... Finally came, and I'm finally glad I have this. And without further ado, I know it's of the older Viking style, but this is a Jared Allen Nike Elite Minnesota Vikings jersey, size 60. So yeah, as you can imagine, this thing's pretty much a dress on me. Which is fine, because, well, <laughs> with how cold it was today, it was actually kind of nice to be able to, like, fit sweatshirts and stuff pretty comfortably underneath. So, uh, yeah. And the thing that I like about these uh, jerseys is the NFL shield, the fly wire, the uh, double stitched, or I should say the single stitched 69 with the number, I don't exactly know what they called it, I mean it's like, it's double stitched but the num but the white as you can see here, the white is connected to the uh, gold, <laughs> and also the uh, Nike swoosh which is a patch as opposed to just straight sewn into the jersey unlike my limited and then uh, the neck tag which is also sewn made in Honduras and uh, with the different fabric on the side the mesh with the uh, water resistant or water repellent fabric, the old Vikings logo, the Allen on the back, and again the same stitched numbers on the back. And I don't know if you can see this, but also the uh, fabric 
which is different than the mesh that's down here. It's the same fabric as the side, only purple. So that is my Nike Elite jersey. And now on to two pro lines. Now this first pro line that I will show you was, um, well, let's just say this is a really rare, hard to find jersey. <laughs> and of a potential Hall of Fame player who, well, let's just say his character was uh, larger than life. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, this guy back in the day, I mean, he was he was a beast on the field. The problem is, I swear, he talked more than he played, and he played a pretty big game. So let's just say you should probably get your popcorn ready and feast your eyes on this. A San Francisco 49ers Terrell Owens Adidas Pro line size 52, made in Mexico. So as you can see here, the uh, NFL shield, the triple stitched 81, the Adidas jock tag, and uh, the sellers beforehand wrote down T. Owens 81 is I think for like inventory purposes or something. The triple stitch 81 on the side, the Adidas patch, which I noticed is a little bit different than on the other Adidas jerseys, and the sublimated slash screen printed San Francisco on the side, the uh, double stitched Owens on the back, and the triple stitched number. So that's jersey number two. And jersey number three rounds out a division that I never thought I'd round out. <laughs> But, oh, thank God I finally did, because for whatever reason, the uh, Cincinnati Bengal Pro Lines and the uh, Cleveland Brown Pro Lines are very, 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 very hard to find. And, uh, <laughs> well, before the orchestra concert on October 18th, so this is going back a few weeks, I was the lead bidder on this jersey. And, uh, well, let's just say I finally won it. And then uh, <laughs> wore it a couple times, you know, just to see how it feels. And it's a really nice jersey. And this is back of the old Cleveland Brown style. So uh, without further ado, this is a Wilson Pro Line Cleveland Browns Eric Zier jersey, size 52. And as you can see here, the Wilson. Pro line jock tag 52. The uh, NFL shield single stitch 10. The Wilson W with the 10 single stitch on the side and the stripes. The back 10 Zire on no name plate. And then the stripes on this side. And there is a little bit of cracking I've noticed on its around here somewhere. Oh, like right here. At first I was thinking this was just a big stain, but nope, there's a little bit of cracking. But again, like I say, to be fair, I got that thing for like 25 bucks. So, alrighty. I know this is a little longer of a video, but it's been a while. And uh, again, stay tuned as I do have another pickup coming soon and maybe some more in the future. So uh, until we meet again, this is Jacob and have a good day.